Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I decided I'm going to do the best of 2019 makeup, like get ready with me style. And I feel like it's going to be a really long video, so be prepared, get a snack. I don't want to take too long of an intro, but these are my personal faves. I'm going to go from, you know, um, like tinted lip balm regular lip balm. I'm going to fragrance. I'm going to some skincare a little bit like a spray or something. But if you want me to do best of skincare 2019, let me know. These are just my personal favorites of 2019 makeup and let's get right into it. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up while you're watching. Subscribe if you're not already and yeah, let's begin. So my favorite brushes are these BK brushes, they are Lisa J's brushes that she came out with with BK Beauty. And yes, they are an investment, but these are the only brushes that I ever need for like the rest of my life. Yes, a very high price tag, but BK Beauty offers afterpay. So these brushes are completely multifunctional, like bronzing, powder, blush, you've got foundation. You can do contour, you can do under eye setting, you can do a whole bunch. And the eye brushes are staple. You've got, you know, a regular tapered brush here, another blending brush. Um, a, this could be even a blending brush on the bottom, a tapered brush, and then we've got the bottom smudger brush. So that is my favorite brush set. Let's start with eyes. My favorite eye primer of 2019 is got to be the NARS Tinted eyeshadow base and I love it that it's tinted because it hides the veins in my eyes. Favorite tool, Beauty Blender Sapphire. I haven't used this in a while, um, but it's something that I know during the beginning of the year I used constantly. So look, it just makes everything even out and it I don't even have to set this. All right, sorry, I almost forgot to pin my hair back. These are my favorite um, hair clips to get ready for the year of 2019. They are the um, creaseless hair clips, and I just got a pack of like 12 for $8 on Amazon. I love them, they work so well, they pin the hair back, and they don't leave any marks in the hair. I love it. Favorite brow pencil is the Benefit Precisely My Brow in 3.5 and followed by the Urban Decay Brow Blade for hair strokes. So let us fill in the brows. I just love this. You can't go wrong with Benefit Precisely My Brow. I've been using this for years and I always use this off camera and I just never talk about it. So what are some of your guys' favorite products of 2019? And let me know if you want me to do skincare. Because I can totally do that before the end of the year. What does everyone else want to see from me? New Year's Eve look? So that's what I do for, you know, the body of the brow. And then I just brush it through. Then I take the Urban Decay Brow Blade and it has this felt tip pencil or marker part and I just kind of go all along and create hair strokes. I'm particular, particularly in the shade Neutral Nana. Okay, so for my favorite brow gel to set the brows, is the Nude Sticks Brow Gel. They have a pencil on here and then they have the gel here. But I really love this gel because it not only fluffs up the brows, but it actually holds them all day long. So I was tr I'm trying to do, you know, new releases this year. Not, you know, my favorite makeup of all time. I'm trying to do of 2019 that came out in 2019 and some of it I'm not sure if it came out in 2019 so don't come for me now 
I'm going to prime the face. My uh, very favorite, I think this is not new. I'm going to choose something else. I love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So it looks like this, and it just feels so hydrating to the face. It smells good. It does nothing for pore filling, but it really helps the makeup just go on smoothly, the foundation, and it plumps the skin. Just gives overall healthy appearance. And I really love that. So for um, sort of highlighting prior to foundation application, I love the L'Oreal Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint in Rose because this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know that product that everyone puts on their face for highlighting prior to makeup application? They just put it you know, on the high points where they want their foundation to look luminous. This is my personal favorite, and I have found it to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Just look at that glow. Like you can't deny. You can't deny that. My previous uh, favorite eye primer was the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I still really love it. I'm just talking about new releases this year. So for eyeshadow palette, my very favorite, this is relatively new, but I use it all the time. I like a nice glow before I start with my foundation or eyeshadow or anything, and I've loved the 4th Ray Glisten Up Mist. It smells good. The mister is quite aggressive, but look at the glow. I'm all about the glow, obviously. Okay, you guys. Literally, as I'm filming this video, okay, I was talking about this brush set from BK Beauty and Lisa J. She's a YouTube influencer. And her, Risa Does Makeup, and Stephanie Marie are my favorite YouTubers at the moment. I binge watch all the time. So I ordered this set of brushes, you know, it comes with these and then the eye brush set and it's on sale right now for $195. I know that's a lot of money. I chose to do afterpay so I'm making installments which is very convenient. And these are super luxe and high end and they're going to last, you know, a good 10 plus years. I chose her brand in particular to support and to you know spend my money on to invest in a great brush set so as I'm sitting here filming this I realized because I watch her videos that I didn't get the bronzing brush I didn't know it didn't come with it and she just emailed me as I had cut and told me that she's sending me the bron bronzing brush and the 106 the 105 and the 106 which are not part of the set so just so if you order the 105 and 106 are separate so because I was very confused and I did, you know, comment on her channel, she's going to send them to me. I highly, highly support her channel. They're all, all three of those women are very wise. They're wonderful. They have great tips. Lisa J, uh, Risa Does Makeup, and Stephanie Marie are my three favorite YouTubers of 2019. I'm just going to add that in there. I was going to, I was going to say, do you want me to do a video all on my favorite YouTubers? But those are my top three right now. I binge watch every single day. And yeah, I just, I could not believe. And I'm wondering, am I talking to Lisa herself or am I talking to BK Beauty? Or is this, I don't even know if it's the same thing. But anyway, I'm in shock and uh, really, really happy and freaking out. But I recommend the brushes because they're amazing. They're high quality. They function I mean, they're just multifunctional. Like, you can do anything with these brushes. You don't need anything except those and those eye brushes. And their quality is great. She has a video on how to use it. Lisa does um, on how to use every single brush. And she did a tutorial with it. I will link that um, in the eye right now. All right, let's talk for a second about uh, lip balm. Lip balms. My favorite tinted lip balm for going out in the cold is the Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. It leaves the nicest tint to the lips. It's so beautiful and it's nourishing. 
Um, I believe it's got, so it's got castor seed oil, which is really, really great as being a barrier to the elements. Now, what I recommend over the Fresh Beauty, over the Laneige, you guys do your research on what actually protects, nourishes, heals dry chapped lips. I've been using this for years. It's the Vaseline Cocoa Butter for soft glowing lips. This stuff is like two, three bucks, and it is better, better ingredients wise from the top to the bottom than Fresh Beauty, Laneige, Drunk Elephant, all of those brands. So highly recommend this. This is going to repair lips overnight. It's going to heal. It's going to uh, prevent dry, chapped, and I, I can't say enough about this, but this is my go-to balm for the nighttime, and this is what I use during the day. I also like the Sun Bum SPF one, so I, I'm all about lip balm, so I'm kind of a lip balm freak. Let's get into the, um, um, let's get into the foundation. My favorite this year have been the Flower Beauty and the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir together. I love these because I love the consistency and the full coverage of this, and I love the luminosity and the buildable coverage of this foundation. So together they are a match made in heaven, and I love them so much. So I've just slathered that a mix on my face. I'm going in with the BK Beauty 101 foundation brush, and I'm going to buff this in. I like that with this brush, you can buff it in the way it's tapered, you can buff it in and you can even swirl it. But I really like this. And I recommend um, applying the foundation to the face first because any brush is going to soak up product. But you definitely can put the product on the brush. So this is just my favorite combination right now. As you can see, it looks super glowy, super dewy, full coverage, just that little amount, complete full coverage, completely flawless. I love it, and this blends it in so quickly. Okay, now, for concealer, I've been trying this out. It's really, really brand new, but I love it. It's the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I love this but I have to mix it with another concealer. So it has a little wand or like a puff thing. So I just put a little bit here. Try not to use a lot. And then my favorite eye brightener is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Brightener. It's a highlighter and it comes like this. This is a dupe for the YSL um, eye brightener. And I just kind of mix the two. And then for that, which brush do I want to use? I guess I could just use the same foundation brush. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the same foundation brush. And I shouldn't have even used that much product. So I'll bring it everywhere else. Because this brush spreads the product so far. But if you're looking to get, if you're really serious about makeup and you know you're an artist or you do YouTube, invest in a nice set of high-end brushes. I know Tati recommends Scott Barnes, but I chose um, Lisa's brushes and I can say I've been using them nonstop. They do not disappoint. They are absolutely amazing. Highly recommend. For the price too, you get nine brushes for $1.95. Um, and you can do after pay, which is absolutely amazing. So for powder, to set the face, I've been loving the number seven Lift and Illuminate setting powder. And I'm gonna use the big powder brush because this is a dupe. And I'm just gonna set everywhere. Look at it, just look how it just completely blurred. Did you, do you guys see how this is just blurring every area that it touches? I'm just going to set the whole face. Very lightly. 
And I like taking it on, you know, out of a compact rather than loose setting powder. Just find that it ages your you when you do that. All about looking young. I'm 33. A lot of companies think I'm 23, and that was using the 102 powder brush. All right, guys, even though I just powdered my face, I'm still going to be using some cream products. My favorite cream blush of the year is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir, specifically in the shade um, Gorgeous Peach. So I'm just going to take that, it looks like this, and split it between the hands. And it looks kind of crazy, and I kind of put it, you know, everywhere. And then I just go in with my Beauty Blender. Or you can also go in with, you know, one of the brushes as it spreads cream products around really well. This does not lift powder at all. I guess I'm doing the face before the eyes. So that just leaves it radiant, really, really nice and healthy. I'm into the cream products lately. So my favorite cream highlight is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter in Spotlight. This is made in Italy. There's an on and off switch. And I love just dabbing this directly on the face. Do you see that? And I just lightly tap it in with the Beauty Blender. And it's just such a beautiful, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. Like you cannot go wrong with this. Bring it down the nose. You know, highlight anywhere I want highlighted. Where the sun would naturally hit. I just find this to be absolutely flawless. I love Charlotte Tilbury products. And this is one that's definitely worth the splurge. Absolutely love it. I'm going to contour now. And my favorite contour powder is from the MAC palette. The Emphasize Cream Accentuate Taupe Sculpt Bone in Beige. And I use these two right here. I'm using the BK Beauty 104 brush. This can be used as a highlight, a blush, a bronzer, and also, you know, um, contour. So I'm going to take these two shades. And just contour the face. I really, really love how soft these bristles are. Watch the video on how to take care of these if you in end up investing in these brushes, which I highly recommend. So just lightly chiseling out. little bit of contour. I love MAC. Well, MAC products are amazing. I do have a powder blush that's been my favorite and that is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop. My favorite. I'm just going to use that same 104 brush and start up here and then bring it forward. And I always go up with my blush. I like stipple it on and then I swipe up. This Clinique blush is everything. I love, love, love it. For regular bronzer, my favorite of the year is the Cover FX Duo. It is the monochromatic bronzer duo in Sunkissed Bronze. I'm just going to go ahead and use the will use the 103 brush which you can also use to contour because it's pretty flat as you can see so I'm going to do the bronzer here I'm just going to go all over the face as you can see this bronzer is pigmented a little bit goes a long way really bronzes up the skin very very nicely and I love that you have the option to Go ahead and put like a little highlighter on it. Let's try that. So it leaves a little glow, which I really, really personally like because I go with phases. You know, I love a regular matte 
bronzer and then I love a little bit of glow with it so this is perfect you've got the best of both worlds and this brush just spreads it out so nicely I love it you guys are gonna be so mad at me and shocked but I chose for my favorite highlight of 2019 the Dior backstage quad in the shade glitz yep I even reviewed it and said I didn't like it but ever since then, I've given it more of a try. Focus on these three shades. It just leaves such a nice, subtle glow. And once again, I'm using that uh, BK Beauty 104 brush. I just love the way that that looks. It's slightly glowy. It's not over the top. I'm not trying to get, you know, a blinding highlight anymore. Just love that. It's subtle, it's soft, and I really like to smile and put a little on the apples of the cheek. I just think that that's so, so pretty. The palette I chose for my favorite of 2019 is the Ultra Ego Sahara palette. It's a great neutral everyday palette. It's got everything I could possibly want. This is a bridal palette. This is just everything. I don't usually experiment with a lot of color, but any kind of look I want, I can get out of this. This is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, a dupe for the Biba palette, and only $16. Highly recommend this. I love it so, so much. Can't get enough of it. Let's do lips. This was a pretty hard category for me personally. This was absolutely so difficult this year to go and and pick like my best of best so I don't know what to tell you it was just hard I've already applied it off camera because it takes me forever but my favorite lip liner for 2019 is the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on lip liner in broken it's the perfect nude I completely lined my whole lips with it and this is a newer discovery but I haven't been able to put it down and I'm always about the nude lip, nude lip, nude lip kind of thing. But this is a mini Tom Ford lipstick and I'm all about it. This is in 03 Casablanca. I'm obsessed. Just look at this. I mean, really? It's super hydrating. nourishing I love it I love the color I cannot get enough of this lipstick I've been wearing it every single day multiple times a day I'm going to have to bite the bullet for a gloss I love the Kathleen lights and uh, Colourpop collab in Moonchild just to lighten this up Okay. All right, so all I've done on this side is I took the BK201 brush. It's like, it's the most wide and the fluffiest brush. I always mix Camel and Adobe, just like that. And this is my go-to, you know, neutral eye that I wear on the daily, you know. It's just, uh, this is just who I am. I'm a neutral person. I don't really like to go out of my way. Just do anything crazy. I'm all about simplicity. So I just took those two shades, ran them in my crease. I'm taking my pinky and going into sands. It is a matte, very light matte bone shade, but it's a little bit darker than a bone. It's just like an off-white. And I like a matte brow bone highlight. Then I'm taking the BK204 brush and doing the same thing. Running it along the lower lash line. Nothing crazy here. Boom, almost done. Now I'm taking the BK202. It's more tapered and it also has like a point to it. So you can either really concentrate it or spread it. So I take the Fox shade and I just run that through the crease, leaving those transition shades alone. It's very, very precise. It's got a very fine tip here. 
but it also can spread out and it picks up the perfect amount of pigment and I'm going to spread this almost along the eye. And what I mean about being multifunctional is I take a little bit more of that fox shade and since it's so finely pointed I can run this to get a more diffused look on the lower lash line. Whereas the other brush um, fits right tight to the eye can get a little bit more of a blown out look with this brush. Which is what I'm doing here. Two more shades and then lashes, setting spray, and we're complete. Taking the 203, this is a flat shader, and I just picked up the shade, oh my gosh, Mirage, and I'm just, I wet it a little bit with some setting spray. The water, whatever you guys have on hand. And then I'm just going to add a little bit in my inner corner I'm using the shade Jewel, I'm just going to put that as a little bit of shimmer on the inner corner. I don't like a shimmery brow bone really anymore. It's too much. On an everyday basis, this is good for me. And then I'm going to be using that tapered brush that I was talking about. This one right here, number 205, and I'm going to take Raven. And just go ahead and deepen the outer corner up. This is great because on each end is really finely pointed. So you can really get into that crease. And this eyeshadow palette, there's no fallout. It's perfect for travel. It's light, weight, cruelty free, vegan. I just highly recommend this palette. I love this company. I discovered them earlier this year and I bought some of their products. They are a brand new company. I bought their product and loved ever since. I'm just kind of diffusing this inward so that I don't have any harsh lines. Kind of wing it out. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and smudge it on the lower lash line. Looking awesome. This is my go-to staple. Everyday bronzy, you know, a little bit of shimmer, light brow bone. For my favorite waterline um, liner, I can't, I can't think straight. It is the Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Liner. So every time you twist, it, it um, sharpens it for you. Apparently mine's all gone. What happened? Yeah, I guess I used it all. That was my favorite, but I do have a backup, and it's only four dollars. I've already applied it, but it is the Believe Beauty. This is exclusive to Dollar General in the shade Caviar. And if you don't believe me, look how creamy this is. Not even putting a lot of pressure. Creamy, super pigmented. I think it's even three dollars and fifty cents amazing amazing liner you can smudge it out do whatever you want with it they have brown they have a whole bunch of different colors for mascara i've been loving dying over this maybelline lash sensational it's the actual luscious full fan effect as soon as i learned that megan markle used it i was right on it i love her and her style she's really more of the natural type I mean, look at the length that that provides, just that little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of lower lash line coat. And it just provides, like, the perfect amount of length. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't, you know, flake or anything like that. It builds up nicely. It's not clumpy. It's just beautiful. I love it. All right, hair clips are out. If I were to wear false lashes, which I'm not today, they would be the Alter Ego False Lashes in the Style Hipster. These are my, they're my favorite, ultimate favorite. And if I was wearing a liquid liner, it would be the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick. 
And now, last but not least, setting spray. And for that, I love the Glam Glow Glow Setter. This is alcohol free, and the mister is so fine on this. I'm all about the glow. So yeah, that is the grand finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like. I'm gonna link their channels. Risa does makeup. Oh, you know what's funny? Risa does makeup. I know those people, they don't even see me. But I always leave comments. She was asking about like a really good drugstore mascara. And I mentioned this one. And she said, oh my God, ordering now. Risa, that is what that mascara does. It makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes. But I'm not. And I literally have like no lashes. It just makes me have lashes that I didn't even know I had. I mean, look, they're like touching up here. It's crazy. So this is my final look using my Best in Beauty of 2019. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.